could separate them, I could kill them. This one's just gonna run into town. Okay. We're gonna kill the other one then. We did have to sacrifice a vassal, but oh well, what can you do? Well, this is fucking bad. Could you give the enemy a better position? Oh, never mind. They spawned right in front of us. It works as well. Horsemen! Sergeant! I've alert! Follow! Mountain! Sergeant's in charge! Yeah, they literally spawned right in front of us. Apparently shields don't work in this game. Well, I guess you can't really make OP shields with the, like, uh, shield rating. Your shields kill like in Warband, so you block everything. Okay, their infantry is coming at us, just, just stay there. Yeah, this this really looks like a melee. Our infantry is gonna outclass theirs. Ton. the AI is doing here. Like, wait, wait. Your yeah, infantry is going straight at them. What the are the archers doing though? Where the fuck is my archers? Or where the fuck are they? You just stay on the high ground there and shoot the enemy. Come on. Or not.
No, 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 don't let their fucking archers just shoot at them. Oh, god damn it. Now I kind of want to go back and put them all in prison. Because otherwise they might in a very well... They are going to escape no matter what, I think. Okay, I think now is the time we fuck with the morale. Now is the time where we ambush these guys. Man, they just fuck themselves because there's no way to run. Mounted archers! And it's the same field. Uh, both field? Okay. Look at this spawn right in front of us, but there's reinforcement spawn over there. I, I have no clue how that happens, or why it happens. Should be able to lure them forward. Yep, yeah, that still didn't change. question is are these mine <laughs> apparently they are okay i don't want to die on this one they are alive okay shit goes sideways Did my reinforcement spawn over there? Right, they're not gonna be getting any reinforcements, I think. If they are just gonna be a really small number. Yeah, they're not.
And that's how you deal with the, when the enemy outnumbers you, but what? By what? 500 troops? 400 troops? Easy peasy. You just have to have the most elitist troops possible, <laughs> I guess, to win. But it's winnable. Then you have to sacrifice a vassal, of course. Oh, here's hoping when I do besiege it again, th there's not gonna be another army appearing out of nowhere. I'm not gonna be surprised if it if shows up. Okay, now. That looks a little bit better. If only the beard was gray and longer, right? Okay, we still have enough to besiege this. More than enough. At least the walls aren't like fully repaired as well. Kills have a high, hundred percent higher effect on your fighting troops' battle morale. Archer troops get generate ten percent more shared experience. Increase rate of recruiting melee prisoners by fifty percent. Cavalry troops generate ten percent. Uh, I think this is gonna be better, right? Because we have a lot of archers. At least my plan kind of worked. We got a lot of their troops or armies to come at us. Should be in the clear for a little while at least. Never mind. We should be able to catch him once we actually take the city, though. If they stay there. How the fuck can they gather up so many freaking troops even with the mod on? So fast. Makes zero sense. I mean, it would make sense if they were like pulling them out with the garrisons, but they're not. Ragnar escaped. What the fuck are you doing? Defending old castle. Who the? Oh, look at that. Where the hell did he find four hundred troops? Wait, 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 why, why the hell are you leaving? Just as we we're gonna break the walls. 
have been betrayed. these guys forward move move in fact archers forward archers Do you want to whittle them down with the arches a little bit before we go in? We do have 400 troops in there. 150 or more. like standing right there on the edge where the wall is broken already. Now let's just run in. Should be able to deal with them. through the other one because there's more archers up that way where the gatehouse is oh yeah look at that to hit him with the head of the axe which is not as easy as it looks yeah the, the AI is really smart in this game God, some things never change. Really? And then the AI is still defending the gatehouse as well.
I mean, there's... Ooh. This would be a fuck fest to attack. There's the gatehouse in the middle. Because, you know, gatehouse is behind this shit all here. Oh yeah, the sword, man. The speed. Look at that. No, oh, attacking this with a bathroom ram is suicide. That's what the AI usually ju does, just builds a bathroom ram at Siege Tower. And most of the time they get destroyed as well. Till they get to the, to the, to the target. Seems to be the issue here. The reason why I go for the not the house cars, but the other ones, those oof, something. They do have spears as well, so they can be pretty good versus a belt infantry and cab. That's what I why I go with them. Hopefully there's not gonna be any enemies stuck anywhere. That would suck ass. I forgot you can switch uh, we're gonna use the swap. Okay, nine kills and eight kills. Let's make two. Yeah, we can only make two. Let's make one uh party leader and the other one uh commander oh i fucked up yeah i did you know never mind you can shift your ship and trade that was fine i think there we go experience we get from the loot i'm never gonna take anything at this point maybe once we're at peace these two they did click decline I think you know would have been better if they turned around and attack, tried to attack this Be 
Okay, so that was not her. Good. I'm gonna take more land for myself, but that's gonna be in the like uh, this area here, up here. We're gonna I'm gonna take this soul for myself, then give it to vessels, then relocate my stuff over this way, probably. Something like that. I'll figure it out. Okay, let's try and catch up with that army over there. Yep, they're going straight at us. Good. Can we actually catch up to them? We're the same speed. Um, you, go catch him. Nice. <laughs> And the weapons is while on foot, you gain 5% hit points. Troops in your party have their hit points increased. Party. Ooh. When a weapon. But the speed. We the speed damage, man. 5% more. Mm. I think we're already fast enough with the two handed sword. We'll stay with that. Maybe I should like make a battle counter and just have one each, one each on like screen for the episode. <laughs> so we can know how many battles I get into per, per stream. That would be fucking something. I do love it when the enemies just spawn right in front of me. at us again. Yep. And our infantry is in between two rocks as well. We actually have a hundred more infantry than I do as well. That's not gonna save them though. Outside. Stab them against the tree. Oh, that was a bad idea, guy. Actually, a good, idea, a better idea to like keep the Valkyries on foot because they're decent infantry units as well. This is a fucking slaughter, man! It's like a, it's like I'm playing on the easiest difficulty. <laughs> Didn't take me long to get adjusted, to be honest. No! 
maybe just it might be the companions just having so good so many good skills to improve the or the captains I should say for the categories of troops Actually, let's make one more guy who's gonna be lead, a leader of party. Stewardship, leadership, and tactics. Let's make him a battalion. Let's take all the loot this time. Now, hopefully, we can make it back here. Where the? F Didn't these guys besiege something? Looks like they gave up. Yeah, run it, run it, run into him. Nice, nice bait, man. How the fuck am I over the limit? What? What? Okay, they're besieging that. They're getting attacked. Let's see if we can save them. It doesn't look like they needed any help. Sure, yeah. New kingdom emerges. There we go. Don't really like our flag colors. All right, right, because uh, uh... no, let's leave it looking like that for now. I need Sammy to. Hooks me up another one. Okay, now an aggression packs are no, are no go so far. Um, let me. Do this real? No, not that. Oh, Jesus Christ. But I need the clan, actually. I need him. I think we need leadership, leadership, yeah, her. 
What's the third guy? Lucien. Want to give them all castles? Actually, put the point in the cat in the good. Okay, look at that. Easy peasy. And we'll clap. Uh, Let me just switch my keyboard actually to English. Let's give her that one. We're not going to have enough for the last one though. Um, I got no, no idea, like, I just give him horse lords, that doesn't sound right. Now I can't think of any Nordic like names, last names, well, clan names. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough influence for the last one, unfortunately. But, okay, so we have our little kingdom over here. Hopefully we're not going to declare, get declared war on by everyone next in like next 15 minutes. But the idea is going to be to like uh, grab another a bunch of influence. Get more influence so we can give out the another one of our castles. Probably this one. Because it's Batanian and we're going to give it to a Batanian lord. And then declare war on the Nordic faction again and take out the rest. Of, well, they only got these two castles and this stuff here. So it should be easy enough. If we don't get mobbed on by everyone else. What's our capital? I'm gonna assume Sianon, right? Because I should be like able to choose like the culture or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Let's find out. Let's check the policies as well. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> we can declare war on the Kazites. Why, though? The Tanians as well. Let's go to the keep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we look really kingly. Okay, never mind, never mind. He's what? 
Who the fuck are you? Oh. Okay, maybe not here. Maybe one of these two? I'm not actually sure what the mod does when you form a kingdom. Now that's our companion. Actually, let's, let's go talk to him. Maybe we can make him a steward or something. mine still right yes that's my wife just don't get the options. Well, because we are a rebellion of the Norse faction, I guess we're supposed to be Norse. Why well, that will make sense. But we are the king now, even though we don't look the part. Anyways, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good morning, good day, good night. And see you next time. What's up on YouTube? Follow on Twitch, D-Live Travel. Hop on Discord or Gilded. If you need any more information and all that. And see you later. We like how we slouch over like we're fucking... Look at that. How's it going? Well, decent, I guess. We formed the own faction. What about you, Deo Plum? Why why aren't you making videos anymore? I have a bunch of them with a couple of thousand views. We're doing well. Maybe you should cover the Hearts of Fire and Balkan Wars mod, right? <laughs> or Bosnian War. I'm actually surprised how good the auto captions are. To be honest. Really freaking surprised. Okay, maybe not, never mind. <laughs> so yeah, we formed the kingdom, we need to farm up enough influence to actually get the other companions to have a party as well or that's the idea at least we gave out two settlements that's what i remember get that one and flint log and then he, i do need to grab some units for the other companions that are gonna or yeah the ones that are gonna actually like lead the other other troops let's see Leadership tactics and leadership. So you leadership, leadership and tactics. You as well. So the site and Urian. Okay. 
if he's a manager or a governor. Okay, Sight and the Marauder and the Urien, I guess, are gonna be the next party leaders. Let's get start started on them. I think we have a bunch of like elite units here still that I can grab and give them. No, I do not. Never mind. Do have like look at that seventy-five highborn warriors. Jesus Christ. Guess I know where where to go if I ever need the units. IRT units to grab. No, I do want to like actually try and get a peace deal or not a peace deal, an alliance with someone. Not sure how well is that that gonna work though. I think only this guy likes us a, li a little bit. Hmm. I do wonder because it says the faction is not interested in forming an non-aggression pact. Would they be interested in interested in an alliance then? Probably not. Especially if they're that stronger than us, right? And clear war on Batania, though. Yeah, let's grab the Valkyries. Actually, like grabbing all of these that are not going to be in the garrison is going to be the good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Apparently, these guys are not getting any archers. Let's leave a couple in there. Just in case. Or no, that little... Oh, shit. Not them. Now let's form another party. So these two and this one. Okay, let's... Now we have a bunch more that uh, troops that are not Surgeon or Nor Nordic. Let's give them out first. Okay, we should be fine with that. 100 troops is not... Well, 80 now. Not too bad. See anything else? Anything else? Not really. Okay, that's gonna be it for her. We need to grab another couple of troops somewhere else as well. And let's tell her what to do. 
Um, lands do nothing. Let's see what how many troops can she actually hold. 208. Nice. Let me actually check the grass and over here. This one should have the Nordic troops in it. So we can, maybe we can grab a mix of that and a mix of the, these ones from over there and form another faction. Alright, these ones also have a bunch of uh, elites in there still. Perfect. with us Let's see what else can I give him He's giving the skirmisher archers and the standard cav units what the fuck are you supposed to be And how, how the hell are these actually like a higher tier unit? Makes, makes no fucking sense. Like their armor is shittier than the, than these guys. These guys actually have heavier armor than the However, that's Gungnir. Gungnir. I don't need any of those in my party, that's for sure. No normal cab units, none of that. We don't need any of those either. None of those. That should be fine. Oh no, 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 come. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> okay, come back. Don't do any of these. We're gonna get the 500 influence f soon enough, so we can give out another settlement. I'm gonna give out this one, probably. We have a better position, well, kind of, but a better position. Once we start a war with the Batanians, we're gonna get wrecked. Let me actually see the balance of power here. I mean, what? I guess... I guess we do have more... Uh, territory than they do. Kind of. Like, fighting them up there is gonna be a nightmare. Now, ideally, we would get a non-aggression pact with everyone else and just uh, declare war on the Northern Empire. Or not the Northern Empire, the Sturgeons. To finish them off. That would be the idea, anyway. Take this, these three here first, then move on to Varchug and Revel. Or however that's pronounced.
Actually, I think this is going to be harder to like take hold than this. Because it seems like they're more con concentrated over here than they, they like... I think this should be the capsule, right? Because it's... Uh, Ragnar is holding it, right? Should be anyway. I do want to let my guys recruit some troops, actually. Where the fuck did this guy get wrecked? This guy still has 200 troops in him, on him. Still. I think they have more troops once they actually have a land, but it uh, doesn't seem like it. I don't want to go over here, maybe like... I'm not sure how you actually befriend enemy lords in this one. Or then just uh, not... Uh, Taking them prisoner, just letting them go. Alright, we have stuff to sell. Eh, they don't have the money, but it doesn't matter anyway. Didn't do a tournament in a while, though. Could you move out of the way, maybe? Increase relations by winning tournaments. I'm not quite sure though. What? I like how I don't like lose any posture at this point. As I level up so much. I like the in the beginning. took like shield bash but it does fuck all apparently okay there we go gotta do the old cheating a little bit for like spin to win <laughs> 